Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask your Bible questions. If you send me your Bible questions, I promise that I will do my best. Although I'm not a Bible answer man, I will still tell you what I believe the Bible teaches. You can send your questions to the email address that I will provide at the end of the broadcast. Keep your questions Bible-related because this ministry, along with the flagship ministry of Scripture Verse by Verse, is Bible-focused, Bible-centered. You can study the whole Bible with me at the Scripture Verse by Verse website using my audio Bible messages by clicking and listening at the Bible verse by verse dot com that's the bible verse by verse dot com question today from a woman who writes brother mike after we get delivered from sin how can we stay free from that sin well the bible gives us the answer to that question and there are several things that pop into my mind. The first verse that pops into my mind is this one. How can a young man keep his way pure by giving heed unto your word, O Lord? Another verse says, Your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. The key to overcoming sin the key to being free from the controlling power of sin is to fill yourself with the Word of God. Take in as much of the Word as you can possibly take in. Read it and read it and read it. When you're too tired, read it some more. And study it from start to finish. And when you're too tired to study it, study it one more time. Keep a steady input daily of God's word as much as you possibly can. And that will fill your soul with truth and that will help you to avoid the influence of evil. It's like Jesus prayed, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. Put the word of God in you and you will be delivered from the controlling power of sin. And there's one more thing that you need to do, and Jesus said it. He said, if your right hand offends you, cut it off. Because it's better to go into heaven lacking one hand than it is to go to hell with both your hands. If your right eye offends you or causes you to sin, gouge it out. Because it's better to go to heaven with one less eye than it is to go to hell with both eyes. Jesus was not suggesting that you amputate different members of your body. What he was saying is, if there's anything in your life that tempts you, that causes you to stumble, that causes you to fall into sin, then get rid of it. Get rid of it. It may have good things that, that go along with it. They may be profitable things in certain ways, but it's not worth the price of your soul. So get rid of anything in your life that tempts you to sin, that causes you to sin, that is something that is just too powerful for you to handle. Get rid of it. Walk away from it, and that will help you to stay free from sin as well. So stay away from people who cause you to sin. Stay away from things that cause you to sin, and put the Word of God in you. All those things will help you to stay free from the controlling power of sin. And of course, when you do sin, apply 1 John 1, nine. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Confess your sins, repent of your sins as soon as you commit them and get back on track. I hope that helps. If you have a question for me, send it to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com.